because I don't want her to say I violated my probation. Failure to report is a violation of your parole or probation. Uh, I turned in myself to the government. I turned myself into Eric Holder. And, uh, I'm on the witness protection program. And to make sure that y'all know what I'm doing and see what I'm doing, I'm hiding in plain sight. You can't violate me because Mr. Holder ain't answered the, the mail yet. You can't violate me because I didn't do nothing wrong. You can't violate me because you won't give me a trial. All right? We're going to show you that I'm a team player, okay? See that? That's Shorty. That's the Baltimore Orioles. That's the Shorty, and that's the Baltimore Ravens. Even though they lost, I'm still supporting them, and I support the Baltimore Orioles, and I got videos and stuff to prove this. Like I said, I was making a documentary, and there it goes, the Shorty's documentary. It's making a movie about racism in the judicial system. And Ms. Humphreys, Mr. McGee, y'all part of it. I didn't want this in, in the state of Maryland, and everybody know that. All right? They signed a petition for this. I started this in right here. This is when I started this. See that? That's me. That's for the film, Sundance Film Festival. I was supposed to be entered in the Sundance Film Festival because uh, Waller has the tapes and stole the evidence and destroyed evidence. I can't get the information. Now, I asked for the evidence from Judge Foreman right there. And my lawyer sent me a letter saying they're supposed to return my film. And they ain't did it yet. Eric Holder has a copy of it. All right? So there's no mistakes about nothing I say or do. I was making a movie, and the movie was about our government. All right? Charles Gibson. See? That's your TV station. If I'd have did something wrong, y'all have been all over the story, but, but y'all ain't get, did nothing. I didn't do nothing wrong, so y'all know what y'all going to do. You're going to hide the story. It's about this. Beaten, tortured, and sentenced to 25 to life for minor drug offenses. This is what I am. I'm an advocate for the underclass in America. I'm their voice because you're not going to tell the truth. And it's about your judicial system. All right? This is about Maryland and Illinois' judicial system and the way you distribute the law amongst the minorities and underclass. So like I said, everybody got this to make sure y'all play fair. That's Eric Holder. That's Eric Holder. That means you got it. That's my witness protection program application. Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, that means you got it. That means I asked for political asylum from the United States, and both of y'all got it. So now what you gonna do with me? Governor O'Malley, Judge Foreman, Patrick Sigero, Eric Holder, Hillary Clinton. I'm reporting. I'm doing my probation part, so I don't even say I violated my probation. Ms. Humphreys, I asked for a hearing in the state of Illinois. I asked for a hearing in the state of Maryland. I want a new trial. Try me, because I was making a movie, and all of y'all know I was making a movie. It ain't easy being a shorty. You know what I mean? I played dumb and stupid when I had to play dumb and stupid, because y'all tried to kill me. So this is where we at. Everything that I've been doing is on video. You've seen it on MySpace, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, all right? So now we're going to start out, y'all. It's election year. I promised you I was going to do this. So if my Maryland delegates don't defend me and my Illinois delegates don't defend me, Deal with it, cuz. I got comedy in my corner. And that film festival coming up real soon. I ain't even got to give it out. I just give the film away to the people that show up at the festival. It's election year. And believe you me, I didn't come to y'all's cars to play. I didn't come to your office and grab them cars to play cards. I gave them to your office to give the cars away to the people so they can see how you represent the underclass in America. You gonna defend my rights, give me my life back, and tell the truth about Shorty? Because if not, Lights, camera, action, cuz. Film festivals. Here goes my board. So let's start. Right here. We're going to do this in 10 minutes because this is going on YouTube next week. And it's going to my probation officer this week. So that's my report. Shorty's Underground Ribs was established in 1997. Shorty's Underground Rail Railroad was established in September 2006 because that's when I started my movie. Get Shorty. 112906, ask Mayor O'Malley. Remember, O'Malley, get shorty. I got the papers, man. You can ask Governor Steele, too. Because Governor Steele, Lieutenant Governor Steele, asked me to work for him to get black votes. You can contact his uh, community liaison, Pastor Heath. All right? That was uh, 10.30.04. All right? Now we went from uh, to 2007. 
All right. Let's get it right. 131.07 was your first false arrest. You arrested me falsely for a bomb threat you knew I didn't commit. I was in front of Judge Rossetti when your bomb threat came through. I was in front of the judge, so how could I commit the threat? The telephone conversation show everything. You lied on me on 130.107 and again on 12.24.07. And you altered the dates on the paper, the arrest report. Who ordered my arrest? Whoever ordered my arrest is going to jail. It's the law, cuz. I've been filming in Illinois on these dates, 610-07, 9-207, and 12-24-07. I'm missing the tapes from 12-24-07. Waller got the tape and he seen it. It was me snitching. I was snitching. This is a snitching video. The same way you sent them brothers to jail in Baltimore for making a snitching video, I want to see if the same laws apply to the corrupt officials. You can't steal, you can't lie, you can't rob drug dealers, dog. Now, when y'all give me a trial, well, it's going to have to be a federal trial. There's a thing called discoveries, all right? Discoveries. You're going to have to give me my indictment papers. You're going to have to give me the charging documents. You're going to have to give me all the papers that you brought in front of the judge. You're going to have to give me those 128 charges that you charged me with. You're going to have to give me all the emails before I went to court. You're going to have to give all the emails and letters that I wrote to Judge Morris, Bridges, Waller. Foreman, Rosetti, you're going to have to give all the videos I played, all the videos that you have in your possession. You're going to have to use my computer and use the hard drive. You're going to have to use my cell phone and that jailhouse diary from 1986 and 2008. They're going to tie you all together because you're doing the same thing because you didn't do nothing no different then than you did now. And the mail receipts, all of them. You feel me? All of them. Everybody that was involved. Now this is my witness list, all right, for a federal investigation and a federal trial. You can call Waller and Nafon, because Nafon going to tell you he did what Waller did. Nafon going to tell you that it's black holes in Jim Crow justice. You got to call Judge Boris, Judge Bridges. Because, see, I wrote Judge Boris a letter, 4707, invoking my constitutional right of self-representation. So you violated my rights off the top, because read the appellate brief from uh, 1988. I can invoke my right anytime I want to. All right? They say a lawyer that represents himself is a fool because well, I'm a big-ass fool. And I told you from the start that what I was going to do to you. I'm going to send you to jail. All right, let's go on down the line. Judge Bridges couldn't be my judge. He was a police officer and arrested and harassed my members from joining uh, Shorty's on uh, 3386, all right, 3286. Representative Washington said they was going to kill me. Representative Link was supposed to investigate. Mr. Sellers lied. Mr. Sellers got mad because I made him climb the pole like a stripper. I asked my sisters and brothers when I made him climb that pole to get that news down and he fell on his ass. Time delay lied on the indictment. I never, I never, 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 ever, ever, ever committed a bomb threat. And you lied. Only thing I did is terrorize you with a lawsuit. Because I told you I was going to sue you from the 1986 case and from the 13107 case. You knew I was going to sue you. You lied. Get the videotape from the town hall meeting. Tom Delaney gave me his business card. Look at the information I sent to Judge Bridges, Waller, and Bailey in June when I got out of jail. Rob Fix was the producer of the movie. You never called him for a witness. Cheryl Whit Nelson was a witness. You never called him. David Irwin, you never called him. Robert Blau, never called him. Ed North, never called him. Governor O'Malley, you never called him. Governor Blakovich, you never called him. Senator Cardin gave you a letter telling you I was making a movie, dumbass. Y'all was about some ignorant ass white people, but you is what you is. Denial of a black man's right is what you do best, cuz. And y'all some ignorant motherfuckers, cuz I gave you a paper trail. I gave you a chance to come clean. Congressman Cummins, you left my ass in jail, cuz. You was hoping they killed me and get this off your table. 
but your head is on the table because you're at the head of the table because you know about all this and you're supposed to be part of the black caucus and you let them do us like this mr cummins bobby zirkins man you talked when you was running for office and you know i'm gonna let you have it cuz because you was all fresh and clean and wanting to do the right thing remember the ravens game because you're killing my kids and at the census thing my son told governor O'Malley, please don't kill my daddy. Giovanni Harris was in court when they kept running me through court all day. And when they pulled me off the streets for that first bomb threat. And you took me to in jail illegally. That's my witness. He was there. You threatened to do something to him. Patrick Fitzgerald had all the information. Kerry Cogwa has all the information. Sheriff Fisher was there when they were signing the petition. Judge Turnbull has known about this for a long time. That's why I put you in it. You didn't know what you was getting into. Schellenberger, man, Nafon, y'all got a prototype. Y'all got a blueprint, and I'm just exposing it. Senator Kelly's wife is on the movie in November of 2007. She told me not to make the movie because y'all was going to kill me. Senator Kelly said y'all was going to kill me because I ain't fearing y'all. Last but not least, Mr. Bill Paco, the owner of the Green Turtle. He on there. I got a lot of people on this. Watch what I do to you. All I'm doing is telling the truth, the simplicity of truth. The truth they say shall set you free. We're going to see what it's going to do for me. Now, if y'all don't drop the charges, we're going to go and get some special witnesses. You know what I'm saying? Because Judge Roberts told me how to do this. And I got it on film. I got it on file. I got the paper trail. We're going to call Judge Roberts, President Bush, President Clinton, and President Obama. Because Obama was a senator then. And Obama asked for an investigation. President Bush asked for an investigation. And neither one of y'all did it yet. Clinton, I'm just throwing you in there. Media representatives, y'all see who y'all is? All right. So we don't have no problem. Everybody know what everybody did, and everybody going to have to show what everybody did. If you don't, I will. Told you, I don't need you. This was a scientific experiment. I couldn't tell nobody what I was doing, so y'all thought I was crazy. Now, this is a contact information, so if anybody want to ask anybody anything, want to find out anything, this is contact information, and it doubles as evidence. It's color-coded, because I'm a colorful individual. So everything goes to here. Y'all want to know what the government knows? Go to D.D. Shortman at AOL, and I'll send you all the emails that I've been sending them. NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, Waukegan, Baltimore, Chicago. All that goes through there. The second thing that is open to the public is my MySpace page, shortman underscore nine at yahoo.com. That's my jailhouse diary and the movie steals. All right. Now I set up Shorty TV too. www.youtube.com slash user. Open to the public, Shorty's voice. And you get to hear my mouth all day long. Gonna get tired of my mouth. And I'm tired of being broke. So I've been to Chicago, Baltimore, New York, Zion, Washington, North Carolina, Waukegan, Florida, Vegas, and all points in between. And it's going to come out in the movie. Like I said, this is my probation report. So Miss Humphreys, you know what I've been up to. You know what I'm doing. I want my life back. I want y'all to have a trial. I want y'all to do what y'all supposed to do. Get in touch with the Justice Department, ask them to do my uh, witness protection. You're getting a copy of the video so you know everything I'm doing. And I'll send you a nice little cute note. Miss Humphrey's been doing her job, so leave Miss Humphrey alone. Mr. McGee ain't been doing his job. He need to lose his job, just like Governor O'Malley. Because the truth will set me free. And it's going to send a lot of y'all to jail. Mostly them snakes in Lake County. Smile for the camera, y'all. Because I'm coming home again. Got me a Pez dispenser. How you want it? Different colors. I'm a joker, dude. Ha, ha. And just so we don't have no mistakes about nothing, here you go. See that? Everybody see that? Okay. Your name. Every time I come to your office, I'm grabbing a handful of cards. 
I'm not gonna spend card for business cards. I'm gonna use your cards because we pay for them cards. You work for us. We don't work for you. Y'all got the equation twisted, so I'm gonna show you. And on the back of them cards, I just left this information. So we don't have any mis misunderstandings. It's open to the public. Everything that y'all been hiding is coming to the light. What you do in the dark comes up in the light. It's election year. You value your career, y'all running for office. I'm running my mouth.